What's up, Sean? I'm at the shop today, and I'm gonna go have a look at the blue car because it's on the lift. I've been doing some stuff with it, and going to show you a couple of things that I am working on on it. So the blue car. So we got the uh, Brembo F50s in the front. They're uh, feet 355, 32, I think. Although well, I think they're probably being turned a little. It's got the stock uppers in here right now. It's got the um, uh, Nismo Olin's uh, PCV with uh, sub tank. So it's got a few other bits and pieces. The ducting here is getting a little destroyed. So it's got these brake ducts that a lot of people ask me about on here so adjustable tension rods um, it's got the gritty cooler underneath it doesn't have a under tray on it right now the clutch is out um, I just changed the discs on the Nismo clutch and uh, the transmission and stuff is here you can see that the transmission and the transfer case and you can see that it is a push style clutch. What else do we have laying around here? We've got the old discs. Um, front pipe. I've got the, I had the GK Tech arms on here, but uh, one side right front loosened up a bit. So I took them off. Uh, I don't like it. I think I, I need some more camber in the front. I don't really like the way it drives right now. So I'm gonna put these old uh, sliding style ones on. Um, they don't have the articulation that, that the other arms do, but they shouldn't loosen up. Plus, they're not spherical rod ends on there. So, that's... So then, uh, also in the back, uh, old EF Madness, uh, Ernie Fixmer helped me replace the wheel bearings. So, we replaced the, uh, the left side wheel bearing in the rear was definitely bad. Um, I'd already replaced the uh, Hikus ball joint here. Um, we did the right side wheel bearing the I did the um, uh, the Hikus uh, tie rod end on both sides. So, and then this has the Brembos in the back, which I think are probably 320. I think they're 322, three. Uh, the end ones are 322. Anyway, something like that. I gotta look it up. I don't remember everything off the top of my head, although I remember a lot of stuff. Um, what else is on going on on this car? So this is the one, this is the car I clipped the dock at Hoonigan. So I'm keeping the exhaust. As you can see, it's uh, it's got the dock mark on here, painted black. Um, got a little bit of heat shielding here by the rear diff. Uh, it's something that I saw on the Super Type Q cars. Makes sense to me. Try to keep uh, any ex excess heat out of the rear diff. Um, also, out here on the tie rod ends, some of the uh, Super Tech U style um, heat shielding, although I'll probably need to do some more on each side. So then um, this car has um, adjustable front and rear sway bars, um, but it could definitely use some other bits and pieces. Here's the uh, remote mount for the for the oil filter and this car has an ARC twin entry intercooler and an ARC oil cooler and there's nothing over there so but this car's seen some hard use um, I like it but not that much so not as much as my Nismo which is over here so Nismo is here. I got some work to do to that today or coming soon. Got to do a little bit of work on the Motor X33. Got a few other cars in here and around that uh, got to do some work on. So we will be touching some things today. It uh, all depends on how crazy it gets as, uh, as usual. Two other things I almost forgot. So probably going to pull the RE71s off and put on some R888Rs. I wanted to get the 275 R888Rs, but uh, somebody here put them on a car, so I had a couple of sets of 265. Um, sort of interesting just seeing them. I know the 
275s are unmounted and the two, uh, I'm sorry, the 275s are mounted and the 265 are unmounted. So it's not an exact comparison, but it's still interesting to see as a stack, it doesn't really look that much different. So, um, but like I said, these have, these have had some use and, um, you know, there are a couple of them are takeoffs from one lap of America, probably say on here somewhere, but, uh, DOT, yeah, uh, eh, it's 2017, 52nd week of 22nd, 2017, wow, so, um, anyway, they're a good tire, I like them, um, and we'll give the R888Rs a try, and then also in the transmission, I am going to be trying some of this, uh, Amsoil Severe Gear, I've had it for a while, I normally use Shockproof Heavy, um, I like Shockproof Heavy, use it for a long time, but, We'll see how this goes. And then I have a couple other little bits and pieces, you know, some more heat shielding. I need to bleed the brakes, probably change the master cylinder on this car. Um, got the steering bushings and some other GK Tech bits and pieces. So. And uh, you can see one of the Picus tie rod ends that I had to fix because it was unhappy. So, and there Hikus ball joint tools. So, let's see, this one has like solid bushings and stuff on it. Anyway, try not to headbutt my headbutt the lift and uh, the Asuka's car.